All right, so right now I'm hiking up this small canyon. Right behind me there's a nearly dry waterfall. As you can see, there's just a trickle coming down right now. But further up this canyon, uh, there's a mine that I found about a month ago. And hopefully it turns out to be pretty interesting. I'll uh, see you up there. So I'm here at the first mine in the canyon. Looking in, you can see there's a really big metal door at the portal. Also, you can see that the mine is flooded, but what's really interesting is the sign that's on the door. Check this out. It says, Princeton University Geophysics, Earthquake Experiment in Progress, Please Do Not Disturb. It's pretty strange, huh? I discovered this mine maybe about a month ago, and during some research I learned that they were doing some experiments here in the late 70s and early 80s and they were trying to determine how seismic waves traveled and this mine was one of their sensor stations you can see some center blocks in there and I see some other stuff back there I'm not quite sure what it is yet so I'm gonna go in there and check it out and uh, of course the experiment ended a long time ago so I'm not interrupting any ongoing experiment all right, so that's looking back towards the metal door. Uh, I didn't point this out earlier, but there's a glass bottle right there. And just inside, there's a pit off to the left. There's a bunch of pieces of wood and tubing thrown in there. Not sure if that's like a clogged winds or something. But the main tunnel keeps going this way. You can see they had some center blocks and stuff set up to help them walk through the water. Have a bit of a rebar, maybe for holding that rock up. Yeah, I can see there's some strange stuff back here. Some quartz in the wall too. Check that out. Bunch of uh, pieces of wood and center blocks right here. There's a jug. <clears throat> and that, I'm guessing that was the sensor. Interesting. Bunch of mice. Looks like that's their home now. Goes off straight ahead and also turns off to the left. Interesting. I guess I'll go I'll go straight first. I'm guessing there was a bunch of equipment in there. And maybe the sensor was over there. This is really strange. Beautiful rock too. This was a I believe this was a gold mine. I don't really know the history of this mine. Look at that. Some flowstone there. Turns off to the left again. Another box that once contained equipment. Flowstone is really beautiful. That looks like a battery, I think. Yeah. Let's see where this pipe leads to. This water has like a thin layer of calcite on the surface. There's another mouse running back there. This is a pretty interesting mine so far. Kind of extensive too. Oh, well, look at this. Wow. 
That's something you see in like a cave. Look at all that flow starter. That's awesome. And the, uh, this drift, I guess, keeps going. Trying not to disturb all this flow stone the best I can. So the pipe ends here, but the tunnel keeps turning left. Whoa. More flow stone, you can see some cave pearls. Look at all that. It's gorgeous. This is turning out to be much more extensive than I thought it was going to be. Holy shit. Well, we definitely reached the end and look at all those mice. How many are there? One, two, three, four, five, six of them. Pretty nasty. All right, so this drift and then we still have that one that we passed on the way in. So I'll meet you back there. Okay, so I'm back at the spot where the pipe ended. And I think I skipped over this walking in because I was distracted, but check out this flowstone right here. Look at that, look at how the iron stained flowstone is going over the white flowstone. It's really beautiful. All of it is. This is definitely the best flow sun I've seen in a mine. Look at all that. Just all along that wall. All right, so I'm back here at this amazing formation. I felt you guys deserved a better look at it. Look, there's like a little pool at the top of it. Not sure how far that hole in it goes down. But look at all that. And this whole little exploratory drift is all filled with flowstone. Hold up. You can see there's like little pools forming over here. Yeah, this is definitely the best flowstone I've seen in a mine. It's awesome. Alright, so I'm back here at this box. And I just came from over there. Right behind me is the portal. And I just noticed right before I started filming that there's a solidified bag of cement or plaster right there. And right here there's a bunch of nails rested together and we have not gone down this drift yet so let's go see where this pipe goes yeah all this is heavily mineralized quartz so this is probably the ore body they were mining A lot drier in this section. I think we are reaching the end. Yep, that's it. There's uh, two mice back there. Yeah, this is a really neat mine. I'm glad I got to show you guys this one. So the adit that I just explored is through all those bushes and right now I'm going to go head up the canyon a ways and go look for some other adits. It's a pretty neat canyon. Really pretty.
but it's really thick and hard to travel through. All right, so I'm about 150 feet above the adit that I just checked out. And right behind me, there's another adit. Uh, but this one, shining my light in there, I can see the ends maybe 25 feet back there. Let me see if I can give you guys a look. I don't know if you'll be able to see it, but. Yeah, that's the face back there. Doesn't go too far. But you can see outside that it was dug into this really massive vein. See this? It's all quartz. Runs all through here over there too. And actually, on the other side of the canyon, straight ahead, there is another prospect that was just an open cut. And there is another at it right above this one. It's maybe about 50 feet above here. So I'm gonna make my way to that one next. All right, so I'm about 50 feet off the floor of the canyon. Here's just a quick shot looking up the canyon. There's a lot of oak trees up there. And I'm standing on a waste rock pile right now. There's an adit over here right behind these yuccas. So I'm gonna go check that out real quick. All right, so I'm here at the portal of this adit and unfortunately it doesn't go very far at all. Maybe only 15 feet back there. You can see the end. And there's a lot of spider webs dangling on the, the back of the mine. So I don't really need to go in there. There's no point. And I'm gonna go look for some other adits. So right here's another adit at this little mining complex. This one is up a side gully, maybe 100 feet above the others. Now, as you can see, I just finished digging this one out. When I got up to it, it was pretty much all filled in. I couldn't see inside. But now I think I opened it up just enough to squeeze in. Let's go check it out. All right, so I just made my way inside the mine. And unfortunately, it doesn't seem to go back very far. I think that's the end right there. I saw maybe four or five deer mice running around back there. You can see one running back right now. And there's another one on the wall on the right. Don't really like to see deer mice because they can carry hantavirus. So since there's a ton of them back there, I think this is as far as I'm gonna go. Um, that is definitely the end. It doesn't turn or anything. And I also wanted to point out that uh, there's a really thick vein of quartz right here. See all this? Runs all the way through here. I have no information about these mines. Uh, they're probably gold mines. That's my guess, is there's another gold mine near here. But these ones seem to be undocumented. All right, time to get out of here.